Yo, yo, boys, back with another video. Today we we're going to do Assassination Rogue, and these are basically my priest's first ever rated game out of the expansion zone. So, overall, the game's pretty solid. Now, they have done some buffs and nerfs, so they're buffing Windwalker by, I think, 15 to 20 percent of every ability. Same thing with Warlock. Warlock did get paint on their uh, walls, so that's nice, but overall damage is gonna get super, super, uh, not fun. And then Evoker's damage got increased, I don't, I think it was like one button got increased by like 15%. And Arms Warrior got buffed, Fury Word got a tiny buff, so overall, bad changes. Honestly, Windwalker did not need buffs, Affliction and Demo and a lot of other classes really needed, uh, tuning. But uh, we'll see how it goes. And then Sub Rogue also got nerfed again on top of Assassination. Now, the one thing I don't like with Assassination is it's your bleeds are dispellable. Now, what, what, what I mean by dispellable, so Evokers have a one minute thing that can basically counter react every single bleed you have. So it's basically you can never use your uh, death mark on non healer targets, which Evokers are really hard to kill. A good Evoker is. Definitely the best healer class in the game. You're not able to actually die as an evoker unless you're maybe facing a warrior or something or something that like legit does one shots. And rest of the druids. Like my priest was so confused when he was playing priest because his heals were actually doing nothing. And he, if it, you don't really have defenses as a other healer, it's so like a non evoker, non rest of the druid, you just you're, you can't heal through this damage. And especially with Windwalkers getting buffed again. It's just not going to be a fun, um, you know, matchup here. So we end up opening here. And it will be, my guy's running the Sea-Doo build. So he doesn't actually have uh, mind games. So that also kind of sucks. So here they end up popping off. I end up evasioning it. So this is this is basically, he goes up there and all their damage. I end up killing him so they don't get any damage off. And look at my guy's HP. So he ends up dying through almost every, so through Guardian instantly. So he dies through Guardian, and that's with Windwalker's damage, but that's nothing. So that's no minions, that's just A-bomb. And they did, you know, unhealable dam. Very unfortunate. My priest was like, what just happened? Because you gotta remember, this is my priest's first games on. And to be honest, I think priests need huge buffs. I feel like the healing is just unhealable damage right now. Like, warriors, assassination rogues, you just cannot heal the damage, and it's not possible. Like, the, and then, honestly, they need to take out Serve Badge, so you're allowed to badge a partner, and what that does is it takes off every bleed. And it's like 10 second. it's every cooldown go, it's like a 10, it's like 15 second cooldown. Uh, so survival, that needs huge, that needs to be like a minute cooldown. Because I was sitting there trying to kill you, because I was going the healer, and I'm telling you, he was badging off, even through, like, because he would just drink it, you know, CC. Or every time I get, you know, my shiv up, he would just instantly badge his teammate and take off all my bleeds. I was like, breath. And then, um, Fury Warrior, yeah, this was not a fun game. Because not only are you not able to CC evokers, so like, you're, you're, at the very start of the game, it's pretty easy. But after that, they have so many abilities that just counteract it. I got in caps here, which is probably not the best option because I can just mark for death kidney, but whatever. I end up smoke bombing. He ends up getting a full fear. We end up doing. He ends up doing unhealable dam. And at this point, he ends up avataring. I just end up. He actually misses a spear at here, actually. So that was uh, very nice. Warriors missing spears like the huge. So I end up. I guess I hold this arm, which is actually not bad. So I don't have to force. Guardian or a Vision. End up blinding here. I end up getting a full kidney. We end up getting Trinket here. He ends up getting Avatar again. So this is the second Avatar. Very Forge. He ends up charging my guy here. And at this point, he ends up walling at 100%. So we end up getting free cooldowns without me clicking a single button. Now all he has to do is save his one minute all bleeds. And he basically just counter reacts my entire death mark. So I'm like, okay, we still have to get this guy's trinket. Now, with how many buttons evokers have, they can't really be CC'd. A good evoker will not be CC'd. It's just not happening. Now, if you're rogue mage and you go, like, priest on him with cheap shot, maybe. 
But as you can see, he's just flying up in the air. So my guy slows him, and then look at this. This guy ends up flying up in the air, and he dodges fear. Because my guy, these are his first games, so he's never actually facing the big group. So he was like, what just happened? It's like, when you see a random person flying throughout the map, especially if you haven't seen that happen before, uh, it's kind of sketchy. It's questionable. So I end up just full throttling and basically just pumping him, and that's pretty much all you're doing. This guy ends up using a full big heal here, even though you're not even supposed to use it that way. You're usually supposed to use it on a heal. My guy ends up pre-gripping the gr uh, the uh, the thing here. It still gets me. So even if it's halfway, even if I was like, getting halfway gripped, it still gets me. So I end up almost dying here. So almost, it was very close. I end up nelfing here to stop the damage. I have to dr cheap shot so I don't die. And keep this in mind, he's, his stacks go up to 12 stacks now. 12 stacks. Even though they don't, you know, keep going, 12 stacks is a lot. Especially when priests don't do any healing. Like, their healing is, I'm, I'm telling you, like, the worst healing. I had to DR Kenny so many times to stay alive. It's just not possible to stay alive right now. I pre-gouge a stun. I end up having a trinket before he ends up killing me. Thankfully, I'm keeping his stacks at a minimum because, like, if he was if he was at like eight plus stacks, I would have been dead like ten minutes ago. I end up vanishing for the extra crit, and we end up almost not taking him out, but I get just enough damage to where I get it. And we end up getting the good old fast W. But yeah, um, I don't, I didn't really like the sub nerfs at all. I mean, sub non WDPS is already almost impossible, especially high CR. It's like. I might I honestly might try Outlaw and see how it's doing. Because honestly, I, some rogues is feeling really gooey. Like, especially after the, the I, I think there's like a 3% nerf on every button. I end up getting sapped here because um, I'm bad like huge. My guy ends up pre-dosing because I knew they were going to go me. They weren't really going to go him. I get trinkets. He ends up trapping here. I end up blinding. So he ends up getting the DR trap. It's the one thing about in capping is it DRs your trap by like a mile. So he ends up pre kinning my, or pre evasioning my kinney, which I kind of. I actually just kind of went for it. I end up nelfing here to get the cheap shot instead. So. Um, pretty much I just death mark him and assumed I would just get him out right here, but I guess he just ends up vanishing and I can't see him in vanish. I don't know why I couldn't see him. I have death mark. I guess maybe death mark doesn't do that anymore. So I end up fainting off the third cheap shot, which actually takes a lot of less damage for me. I end up kiting on his little CC here. So he ends up getting a DR trap. So really, you're not, never really getting that much CC off this. I end up leading the hunter here. So if the hunter needs to... Overall, this damage is really insane right here. I got... I guess he were, didn't feign death my bleeds. Or I'm not even sure if you can feign death the bleeds. I knew you can't cloak him. And when I was playing with my MM Hunter, he can never feign death bleeds. So, as you can see, the Hunter's legit just dying. So, by the time they actually get a solid go, uh, the Hunter just dies a death and GG. And then for this game here, pretty much we just full throttle the Mistweaver and the DH forgets the darkness and we end up taking him out. So, I end up sapping the DH here. And pretty much that is all there is to it. Just full bleeding, as you can see, doing unhealable bleeds. End up getting incapped. He ends up walling here, which is actually really good for us. He ends up trying to use song. I end up kicking it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about assassination. Right now, I think the damage overall is a little bit broken. Now, I, I would I would suggest Blizzard takes off the dispelling bleeds. Like Evogra should not get that button. Same thing with any other class. No clash. I, I mean, obviously hunters with feign death. But they shouldn't be able to badge their teammate to take off every bullet. It's just dumb overall. And if you guys haven't noticed, every DH has either went to Windwalk or a Fury Warrior. And there's a reason. Every time a class isn't legit broken to the teeth, everyone just swaps that class. So I rarely face a DH. Even though they're still really good, they're still definitely A tier. I mean, they're definitely not S tier. I think Fury Warrior and Shadow Priest and Demo and Affliction Warlock are the, definitely the top dogs right now. And then I'd say Wimwalker and Wimwalker and DH or I'd say Wimwalker is definitely the top A tier. I almost S tier. After this buff, it'll definitely be S tier. So if you guys didn't notice, this is my first actual game playing tech. So I just put this this one in here. So I'm actually playing this all wrong because you're supposed to use your cool blood in the 
into your uh, secret technique, and I was like, I was so confused, because if you go for a Kinney, then you have to Shadow Strike, Shadow Strike, and to get more comp, it was like really confused, because I don't have Mark for Death. So instead of just, you know, doing a Kinney, and then Mark for Death, full blood, and then secret techniquing, you have to like get combo points again, which was like really confusing me. So it was like, whatever. So I ended up using my full blood for an Eviscerate, which legit does nothing. And if you guys didn't know, Shadow Priest actually just does unhealable dam. I swear, I've never seen a class not have to do anything and still do unhealable dam. Like, I'm talking, like, at not even a two-button rotation, and it's just full throttle. And then Windwalkers, ooh, it's going to be very fun facing a Windwalker that can zero point. See, as I say, I don't know why they're buff them. They're actually in the best spot they could be. I think it's the worst thing that they could have done is buff Windwalker, because then they're just going to be, they're just going to nerf it again. What they do is they end up at the start of an expansion, they they buff things that don't need buffs, and then they end up, you know, full, you know, nerfing them to the ground, and that's how Blizzard like things. But uh, and we end up getting the dub here. Let me know what you guys want to see next in the next video, and pretty much that is it. Let me know what you guys think on the buffs and nerfs. If you guys want to check out the buffs and nerfs, it'll be in the description. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace to the peace. We end up actually destroying the DR. You know, Kenny here, but uh, see ya, boys. I'm seeing you in the game. Next one, peace, peace.